is like watching the Titanic sink. Hi guys, welcome to Nighthawk Ladders, I'm Brad. Today, we have made it back again to the Jim Richmond Open. This is the second annual event hosted right here in the West Baden Springs Hotel. One of the things that we're really excited to see is Joshua Finn's Hourglass models. Josh has the Hourglass 2 and the Hourglass 3. Uh, 48 approximately uh, wingspan on the Hourglass 2 and around 60 or so inches on the Hourglass 3. These things are huge. Rubber band powered airplanes that are so cool. I uh, just can't wait to see that, so stay tuned. All right, so we have what? That has got to be the Hourglass 3, right? Yes, this is Hourglass 3 here. So I believe this is Josh's biggest biggest. Remember how big that one is? Is that like 52 inch wingspan or something like that? No, that one's 60 some. Oh, it's 60 something. There, I was thinking of the hourglass too. <laughs> yeah, the hourglass too is 40. Um, hey, take my 40. money. I got a double. So a five feet wingspan. This thing's incredible. And it's flying at a good pace too, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not it an expert, is. but that looks really good. Josh ready with his balloon again. He's thinking his airplane is encroaching on the wall, I guess. And it is. I think there's a slight draft that once you push things towards this wall. Although I've mainly seen it affect Josh's planes more than anyone else, so I don't know. It's kind of funny. This plane is up there. And the balloon is right there, so he's getting ready for it. Am I at the right height? Josh, you are at the right height, yes. Oh no. And a release. My balloon was at the same height as an I F1D, and so I had to do yeah. get real creative because I was like, I have boxed myself in. I have made an error. <laughs> I saw the sweat shooting off your forehead <laughs> as as you were getting closer to that, because he was just flying just barely above you, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was close. I mean, my balloon would have snagged him. <laughs> now, what I'm bothered by is my plane has drifted back. So I'm going to have to do this again. <laughs> well, it, it's taking its time, so it'll be a few rotations yet. <laughs> yeah. You can you can well, you can wipe off your brow a little bit and relax just for a minute. <laughs> I'm actually doing that. I'm doing that. I'm totally doing that. Yes, uh, ooh, that was. Uh, That's a beast to fly, man. Yeah. But you know it's easy to snag though. You got a lot of wing to catch. Yeah. Well, or, the, or the, the thing is, it's slow. Yeah. Everything happens slow, so you can walk with the plane, and as long as you just relax, sit back, think about what's going on, yeah. you're good. 
you're flying it during like one of the busiest times right now. So a lot of people. Well, the are air the air is perfect right now. Yeah. There's no turbulence, so everything's flying beautifully. But yet it still drifts towards this wall. So what's yeah, up with that? I, Honestly, I don't know. I, I've and only seen your airplane drift towards the wall. No one else does that, so it's just you. Mm. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> I know. Oh. Swing and a miss. It's, it's not turning much now, so it's an emergency situation here. It's, it's heading for the column bad. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be the dis, there's disaster. He can't stop it. Boom, it hit. Now, the timer's still going as far as I know. Yep. Oh, no. And it hung. This is like watching the Titanic sink. There it is. Hey. That was a good not, flight, man. Look, I'm not complaining. That was a good flight. All I have to do is a couple of minor repairs. Yeah. It's back in the air. That's part of the game. That's right. I gotta get my wife's plane in the air anyway. Well, Josh, that was a beautiful flight. I expected nothing less of you. Well, thank you. 